Welcome back to another video for HarborFinancialOnline.com. Today we're going to be going through the individual income tax brackets and I'm going to go specifically through multiple income levels and show you what the percentage of your tax is going to be. So this is going to be a very, th th this PowerPoint compared to my other ones is going to be very specific to the numbers. I have other videos on tax brackets that are a little more broad. So we're going to kind of dive into the numbers here. So hopefully this will, this will answer the questions as far as what bracket will you be in and how much tax can you kind of expect before deductions and credits. So let me get the video started. So I want to start with the tax rates for single filers. If you're a single filer, you have a 10% tax rate on income between 0 and 8,500. You can just follow my cursor here. This is all single on this first PowerPoint. 15% tax on income between 8,501 and 34,500. 25% tax on income between 34,501 and 83,600. 28% tax on income of 83601 and 174400 You'll be in a 33% tax bracket on income of 174000 and 379150 And you'll be in a 35% bracket on income of 379150 or higher. Now, keep in mind, this is just for single filers, okay? Now, income brackets for married filing jointly. This is if you're married filing jointly. 10% on income of 0 to 17,000. 15% on income of $17,001 to 69,000. Married filing jointly, so don't confuse this if you're single. 25% tax on income of 69,001 and 139,350. 28% tax on income of 139,351 and 212,300. You'll be in a 33% tax bracket on income of 212,301 and 379,150. You'll be in a 35% bracket on income of 379,150 or higher. Now, as we go through this video, I want you to keep in mind here at the bottom, HarborFinancialOnline.com is a site I recommend you check out. There's a bunch of free information on that site about taxes, credits, everything you need to know about your tax return, and you can file the return online there. Here's a couple examples. Um, so a single filer. John, he makes eighty thousand a year. He'll be getting a raise of five thousand. The twenty-five percent tax bracket stops at eighty-three thousand six hundred. So John's entire income now with that raise is going to be taxed at twenty-eight percent. He he surpassed that amount, so now he goes into the twenty-eight percent bracket. As you can see from the schedules we went over, filing joint, married jointly will put you into the lowest tax brackets. So if you are married and you qualify, make sure, make sure you're not filing married separate. I, I really don't understand why so many people do that. Um, try to go with a married jointly. It's going to save you a lot of money. Remember that deductions and credits will bring these percentages down a lot. Those brackets doesn't just mean you're going to pay 25% on that. You're going to have credits, deductions, things are going to factor into that, such as if you own a home, you're going to have the deductions with your home. Um, so let me, what I want to do real quick is we're going to go to the site. So let me uh, take it, this is Harbor, sorry, we we're on the wrong page here. We will get us to the page. Um, this is harborfinancialonline.com. Now, 
you can see we have a lot of links here, um, articles, postings on different areas that you guys should really look at. If you're trying to increase your refund, the only way you're going to do that is to do some of your own research, unless you're going to pay for an accountant to do that for you. So if you invest the time, it's going to be worth it when it comes time for that refund. So I highly recommend checking out this site. So we will go back to the video here. And what I want to do is, you know, the average income in the U.S., I, I want to look at those amounts and kind of talk to you guys real quick. Say you're married filing jointly. Now, the average American, depending on where you, you live, you're going to be somewhere in the 15 to 25% bracket. This is where you're going to fall. So... With those credits and deductions that I talked about, you can pull this percentage quite a you know quite a bit down to a you know a manageable level. You can get that pretty easily down to 10% if you understand the credits that are out there and see if you qualify for them. So it's not uncommon to get to a 10% level. Okay. So I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you go to our site and look on YouTube. We have lots more videos on tax, and I appreciate your time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.